hey guys welcome to this tutorial um so in this session we're going to be building a weather app so this weather program is going to tell you the um, current weather situation in a particular city or a particular location or country or town so what we're going to be building is a program that is going to ask a user to input let's say a city or a town or any location and then it's going to return to that user details of the weather situation in that location so let's say for example a user inputs london it's going to tell the user first of all where london is located and then the current weather situation right there so for us to do this we're going to be using the open maps weather api open weather maps api so when i come here this is their website openweathermaps.org um, all you just need to do is to sign up so when you sign up you log in then you come straight to api keys then you're gonna see that you have this default key so once you have the default key we're gonna copy it and then use it in our code later but for now let's start with the code just make sure you have the api key first of all then you can follow along so now what we just need to do is to import requests now on this request is a python library for sending requests to any website so you know we are using the api of this website we have to use requests to send a request to that website and if you don't have this just install it by saying pip install requests in your terminal so now we're also going to import something named pretty print from be print import be print so when we send a request to this page it's gonna give us a response in a JSON format so when we have that response in a JSON format it's always not so easy to visualize or to read so this pretty print library is gonna turn that JSON format into like a tree you know a word tree or a dictionary tree in which we are going to be able to read normally so after that what we just need to do is to specify a new variable and name it api key so something like this let's leave it blank for now and then let's add a new variable and name it city so this will be an input from the user and then we're going to tell the user to enter a city so now once we have whatever the user inputs let's just say base url which is the url we're going to send the response to then we're going to do i'm going to paste this so this is the url which we're going to send the response to but whenever we're sending this response to this url we need to send it with our api key and we also need to send the response with the city we want to get a, re a response from so i'm sending a request to this url with our api key and the city and then we're going to get a response so i'm just going to say plus the api key so before plus api key this is the normal url then let's add a parameter by using this and we'll say app id is equals to api key like this so we're just concatenating and making it a perfect url so now let's continue with the concatenation by saying plus and then let's say and q which is a query or search or something like that then it's now the city so whatever the user input now let's say weather underscore data equals requests dot get right here let me show we're using the right thing request dot get base url dot json so now request dot get the base url dot json as i said we're going to get a response from that url and it's going to have to be in a json format so now we have everything we need about this current city in a json format but let's use pretty print to make sure that it is readable and it makes sense 
so say p print weather data so this is gonna pretty print the weather data now let's run this program right here it says i should enter a city i enter london now you can see it says invalid api and why is that because right here in the code let me quit this i said we should leave the api blank for now so let me go there and copy my api this is my api key and paste it there so remember i said we need this api key so that's why you have to come here create an account log in come here to api keys and then get your api now when we run this we won't get any error and then let's say london now you can see that it gives me information about the weather situation in london so right here enter a city london base station so cloud all oh, it's giving me all this the coordinates um latitude and longitude it's giving me all this so right here it feels like 273.63 the humidity the pressure the temperature the temperature max and minimum the name the country the id the sunrise the sunset the type the time zone the weather um description the weather is mist and mainly mist so the wind is 60 and the speed is 4.12 so it's giving me all this information which i need so this is how to use open weather maps api to get the current weather situation in any city in the world now we can try this for other cities now let me just run this program again so enter a city let me enter a city like um delhi now enter delhi in india now i have this and it also gives me everything i need to know about delhi as you can see it says it's from india so this is basically how to use this open meta wipes api get it in a json format pretty print it and then you can implement it let's say you are building a web application a gui app mobile app anything you're doing you can use this python program to implement it in your application now let's go over what we did this is pretty simple we just imported requests we imported print to print we got our api key from here we use the city um, variable as an input we make sure we specify the url then where that data we send a request to that url and then we got a response and store that response in weather data and then we just pretty printed it that was simply all we did now that's going to be all for the weather with python